right now, man, Sean Porter, Team Porter, we go way back. We know each other very well. I know him and his father are training really hard, preparing, doing their best so that March 12th they can get an upset. Me, Keith One Time Thurman, me and my team, we're just going to be prepared and we're going to give you guys a terrific performance. I would love to say that I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. I'm going to win. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to look for the knockout. That's what I'm going to do. And that's what I'm known for doing. So at the end of the day, on March 12th, you're going to see your boy Keith One Time Thurman being Keith One Time Thurman. If I need a box, if I need a punch, I'm going to do that. If, if the counter punching, if Sean Porter wants to run into my right hands and my left hooks, that's what we're going to do. We're going to do our best to establish the jab, see what kind of strategy Team Porter is coming in with, and then find the groove to take over and dominate each and every round. And in those rounds, we'll be looking for that one time, every time. All right, thank you, Keith. Question here, here in the middle. Okay, we know you got your eyes set on Porter. We know you got your eyes set on Porter, but how do you feel about the WBC dropping so many ranked opponents to give Garcia Guerrero for this title shot? If what you're asking is how come he didn't fight Amir Khan? Not just Khan, but anybody else in front of Guerrero, including maybe yourself. You know, that's a that's a good question, but obviously Thurman Porter was in the making, so that eliminates that. Um, I, I only throw, for people who ask this question, I only throw Amir Khan's name on the list. Amir Khan was trying to fight Floyd Mayweather while he was the WBC champion. And if they overstepped anybody, they overstepped Khan. Um, he could go ahead and fight Khan right away. Who knows what's going to really happen on Danny Garcia's plate. But, you know, like I said, don't take nothing away from him. He was the WBC champion at 140. He stepped up to 147. He gave a terrific performance against Robert the Ghost Guerrero tonight. And he is now, once again, champion, champion of two divisions, still undefeated. It was a good fight, terrific fight. Thank you, guys.